Nation of the Messenger, 75,000 purse, 379,000 total, 1A Ralph Hanover, second rated in the Experimental Championship ratings, three for three this year, and Ron Waples drives, 2B Kawartha Robust, Regine Danyo, 3C Jamuga, who was scratched lame from the Battle of the Brandywine last year, trying to come back tonight for Bill O'Donnell, 4D Power Bunny, Carmine Abatello, 5E Jewel with Dr. John Hayes driving, 6F Empire Larry and Buddy Gilmore, 7G Polonius, Bill Popfinger, 8H Star Happy with Michelle Lachance, 9I Better Heather with Bill Houghton, and here is Jackie Lee with the call of the third elimination. They're up on the inside, Kawatha Robust and Ralph Hanover go for the early lead. Felonius moving from the far outside. They're in the turn. Ronnie Waples has the lead with Ralph Hanover, making uh, Ray Jean Daniel and Kawatha Robust tuck in second, going off stride. In that first turn is uh, Better Heather, who's interfered with uh, both Jamuga and Felonius. They head down the back stretch toward the quarter pole. Ralph Hanover in command by a length and a half. Kawatha Robust racing second, a gap of four. Back to the Power Bunny third, followed by Jewel Four. They're at the quarter in 29 and 3. On the paddock turn the first time, Ralph Hanover, Ronnie Waples open up a two and a half length lead. Kawatha Robust second, Power Bunny third. Jewel moves to the outside fourth. Jamuga underway on the outside of fifth. They approach the half mile pole. Ralph Hanover in command by a length and a half. On the inside, Kawatha Robust is second. Moving up on the outside is Jewel now a close to third. Jamuga up to take fourth. Power Bunny fifth. That's Empire Larry sixth. Filoni is seventh. Star Happy is eighth. And Better Heather has been pulled up. A half mile a minute, two fifths of a second. Down the back stretch, the final time. It's Ralph Hanover showing the way by a length and a half. Jewel parked on the outside of second row on the inside. Kawatha Robust is third. Jamuga trying to make up ground on the outside fourth. Empire Larry, big kick on the far outside for Buddy Gilmore. He is now a close to third. Three quarters on the board in 130 and two. On the final turn, Ralph Hanover shows the way by a full length. Jewel parked outside second. Kawatha Robust is third. Empire Larry fourth. They head to the top of the stretch. Ralph Hanover has been there all the way. For Ronnie Waples, leads it by a length and a half. Battling for second is Jewel and Kawatha Robust. They're inside the 16th pole, and Ralph Hanover has the lead. Kawatha Robust coming at him. It's Ralph Hanover in front. Under the wire, Ralph Hanover holds off Kawatha Robust in 159 and 1. It looked like Jewel was up for third. He was right there with Power Bunny. And now back to Spencer Ross for all the details. Well, as Stan mentioned, uh, the experimental ratings, Ralph Hanover, number two. Impressive performance as number one OTB letter E, this three-year-old son of Meadow Skipper, owned by the Waples Stable, Pacetta Stable Incorporated, Grant's Direct Stable of Canada, trained by Steve Ferlot, and driven by Ron Waples. 1A, Ralph Hanover returns, $4, $3, $2.20. 2B, Two Kawartha Robust, was second, $5.20 and $4.00, and 5E, Jewel, also gets into the finals as the third-place finisher, $4.00 and 60 cents to show the triple of one two and five a b and e 183 dollars even a tough night for hall of famer billy houghton big band sound interfered with in the first division ticket to ride out of the money in the second division and right here better heather making a break going around the turn the first time there'll be 